We're back with another week of looking at uh, the games that are on Epic, and this one's got uh, more puzzles that are kind of annoying, in my opinion, and gangster cats and cat assistants, specifically a back one. Hope you all enjoy. What's past this prologue? A nice introduction into the story. Uh, off the screen. Or the, the bottom. Who the hell am I? It feels like it's gonna explode. Me too, Rex. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Game failed unknown. Oh, I'm oh, no, 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 no. Keep going, keep going. I don't like that. leaving here without my hat. Looks like a robot took the ball too. Hmm. Is this team scared away? Now we can use these bells to release steam. Okay, so the setting in the beginning was really good, uh, I thought. It sucked me in immediately, you kind of crashing down and this thing swooping in with the scythe, uh, I was immediately sucked in, and I was, for letter, lack of really uh, a better way to say things, I, I was, uh, scared in a way uh I, I i wanted to just kind of I, I i didn't think it was gonna die it was the very beginning of the game but i was just like gotta go gotta go gotta go unless I, it was one of those kind of games where they were going to kill you really early uh i thought it was a great way of kind of showing you who you are when you crash down and they were like okay i i, I need to find a hand joint and an ankle joint i was like oh okay so this person's a cyborg all right this is a very futuristic world cool i like that uh it, and they gave you very clear goals and that was nice uh it, it you don't see that very well in some games and i thought it was a really cool thing that they did 
and as you're running through the first area, you run into your cat assistant, William, who I, I thought it was kind of weird how he showed up in the very beginning. I'm like, he's a cat. Okay. Uh, and he just helps you get these electronic bio rat hearts. I don't know why there's bio rats in this world. Apparently everything's got to be high tech. It's a future after all. Uh, and they're used to be, and these hearts can be used to replace batteries of some sorts. And they have to be placed in this puzzle from like lowest charge to highest charge to be able to work uh, in order to be able to make the repair bench work. And there isn't really a clear view as to which one goes in the right spot. And I am getting incredibly frustrated. Well, not really frustrated is the right word, but it's kind of, it's not really clear as to which one goes where, because this bar has to go all the way through. No, it goes, it ends with the down. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But. As I'm going through and watching and trying to do this, I was perplexed at just how this simple puzzle was beating me. And I I couldn't really get my head around like how to do this. And it took me just way, way too long as to why just this simple puzzle wasn't working. And this was like the, this was the prologue. It was, it was taking way too long. And I, 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 I felt a little bit of satisfaction when I finally was like, yes, got it. And I thought it was, I was, part of me was going, oh, good Lord, there's more of this game going. Uh, and I beat the prologue and I thought it was like, maybe this is going to be a lot more intense game. And not what I was expecting when I got into chapter one and everything kind of got turned onto its head and it, it, it seems like it turned into this. So, I bet you're thinking this is how I kind of got here, like, kind of deals, because, up, oh, your alarm's going. Was it a, I don't know, was it a dream? I don't think this is that kind of a thing. I got to chapter one. This is an interesting puzzle game. Like, just the world that's going on here. BBX. Wiki wiki, it's time to get up. Ugh, damn, you're so noisy. What the hell are you doing, BBX? You want me to throw you back into the furnace? I need to perform routine checkups on your mechanical parts. It's four days overdue. Sure, whatever. Just wait for me to get over there and cover you. Okay, let's get this over and done with. Scanning body. Oh, there's a creepy dude on the right side of the screen. Beep, beep, beep. Warning, beep. <laughs> Based on the test results, we have mechanical body parts are <laughs> about to collapse. How's that even possible? <laughs> then I get new knees. There's nothing to do but the test results. Take a look for yourself. Oh, that is terrifying. It's like I'm looking into my own body. <laughs> Can I actually like, look? It just lets me like look into my own page. In, in my okay. Confirm. You see, I didn't lie to you. Let me perform an overall maintenance. You do realize that you haven't changed any of my parts in the last two years, right? It's a miracle that I can still scan you at all. So I'll stop making a fuss. And just where am I supposed to get parts for a relic like you? Museum? It's probably donate you to a museum so you can stop start putting it on display. Initial self initializing self-destruct sequence. Calm down, I'm kidding. Head upstairs to the workshop will give you a quick checkup. Oh, okay, this is... 
not somebody who's just sitting there staring in my room. Old picture with a sense of religious ritual. Okay, I bet it's upstairs. Oh, hey, coffee! Old coffee bean that's miraculously still working. Hey, trip machine. So how does that robot actually like head upstairs? I want to know this. He had wheels. This place is haunted. What's wrong? Hey, Lurch! Where are all the lights off? Didn't I tell you to wait for me in the interchange station? But I think it's something over it. There's something over it. The armor. Oh, come on. <laughs> Robot afraid of the gulf. Just turn on the lights. The lights aren't working. I think the circuits downstairs are malfunctioning. This is... It's really interesting. And it got me really intrigued really quickly. Is there anything that still works in this place? Never mind. Like, I'm just going on here first. Uh, ooh, got some keys. Uh, distribution box key... Oh, she's scared the crap out of me. Let's fix the lights first. Alright, let's go fix the lights. <laughs> Hydrate! Oh. Ah. Why the circuits are messed up? I need to rotate the wire to connect both ports. That's so weird. Okay. Oh, this is an odd puzzle. Oh, I don't like this at all. Rex is very self-centered. At least that's how I felt. And that's what chap the beginning of chapter one seems to seem go go for to me he doesn't take care of bbx he whenever he sees william when you first see him the only thing he you get options for like do you want dried fish he, whenever you give the option of telling him to play instead of like giving him the option to go out you have the option of go he you don't even get the option. He offers him dried fish anyway instead of giving him what you said you were going to give him. I, he does he wants to renege on his promises almost immediately. It, it is to a cat. And the only reason he's trying to keep this robot BBX operable is because the robot's supposed to be taking care of him. He in order to get the robot working you take apart what seems to be the apartment's washing machine and it, it's not even your washing machine i just the guy's a jerk is what it feels like and this is supposed to be who you're playing i don't know if there's supposed to be some grand make yourself a better person story that goes on later on but I know that whenever stuff is on the line, he seems to want to help. But he doesn't want to see... He, he seems that... He, he does it because he wants to get money. Because he knows he needs parts to keep himself going. I, that's the way it looks. And so he... He follows... He, he, he eventually does let William outside for a walk, because that's what he promises the cat, in order to help get the parts he needs to get the robot that he's trying to fix. And the cat finds something, he follows the cat. Happen. His test subject. Oh, it's crazy. Hey, William. What do you got there? He's a rip cloth with blood on it. Oh. Can't do anything about BBX for now. Should we follow William? Take a look. Yeah. 
little kitty's found something. I gotta follow the cat, because I have no idea where I'm going. What's that last he chased all the way? Looks like Will wants to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. This sounds like bees. There's like at least five cats. Okay, I was off by one. Say so your friend Jennifer first seems to be a rare breed. Good choice. Did you is that blood on you? I don't see any wounds. What is going on here? So, I'm not going to show the body that was found in the alleyway on screen, but I did uh, find how the cases, how the investigations were done interesting. Uh, later on, we do run into like a robot we have to show uh, and do an investigation on, so I will show that. Uh, and apparently you find your character Rex uh, was an ex-cop, and... He's now kind of a private detective sort of person. And since he was first on the scene, he's asked to help. And that's why you're brought on this case. Uh, you find out kind of the broad scope reason as to why he became a cyborg and why he quit the force. Uh, but this is also... Because he's a cyborg, it gives him the ability to do things like scan for blood, test hair, DNA on the scene. Almost kind of like become, in a way, the perfect cop for a crime scene investigation. Which is really cool, if in the right hands. But after kind of... Uh, it, it's it, one thing that's kind of fun here is like after joining these investigations in the crime scene and you're able to conclude the investigation uh, he puts up this timeline which allows him to kind of figure out what happens in the past and you have to put the cogs uh, in the right place of this timeline and uh, if you can't like put the timeline together and make the wheels spin correctly you can't have the correct timeline and they actually make that work in a rather interesting way I thought uh, and they, while they're kind of like speaking out the timeline, they kind of, they show you it on the screen, which I think is really cool. But one thing I didn't really like is they don't really give you a good, um, rate of speech. Like they show it too quickly while it's being spoken. So as the words are moving along... Too much is happening. Uh, so I, I, if they would have slowed down the words, maybe slowed down the speed of how things are going on, I think that would have been a little bit. It would have made it a little bit easier for things, for for, for the viewer to actually kind of read exactly what's going on. Because I feel like I missed a little bit what was happening. But all in all, I do think that their uh, the way they showed it, I think, was a fairly good job. I have a feeling something bad's about to happen. It is a butler bot of some sort. Bring a clean and tidy suit. Soft artificial fingers. Brand new shoes and soles. Some hair belonging to the victim. Intelligent model. Close inspection row eyes reveal what? It's current. Dried blood stains. Okay, 
so it has shut down. Stain and Stray's blood tracked all the way down to the sofa. Oh, jeez. Blood and hair have been detected on the robot, and he was involved in some way. He broke down here for no obvious reason. Ugh, it's blood on hands and hands robot Robots are unable to harm suits of the blood. Looks like I can get that one. Seems like I can get that one. Looks like the small cog is there. Murder mystery in her apartment. Little guests in the living room team shook the candlestick, touching the one I found. Strike didn't kill this fairy immediately, but immobilized her. She died sometime afterwards. Went into the crime scene and dumped the body. The robot stopped working after that and stayed there for an unknown reason. Why would it dump the body, though? Candlestick was the murder weapon was taken away at the crime scene. And I had so you spend most of your time running around as Rex, but there are times where you do get to run around as William. Uh, there, whenever you're actually when William actually runs around and actually grabs those uh, robotic bio rat hearts, you are actually running around as the cat William doing a little mi kind of micro puzzle to get to get them. And it's a kind of a small, interesting little puzzle where you're kind of going through vents in the sewers to sneak behind the rats, and it's really easy, and really cool. I liked it. Uh, later on, uh, uh, Rex will ask a question to William, and what will end up happening is William will start acting out what happens, and it will go into two hours earlier, and you'll go into a flashback of William, and... You'll see what William had been doing the whole entire time. You were doing an investigation as Rex. And William was actually doing something for Rex as his assistant. Really cool. I was like, yes, I get to play as the cat. William's on the case. Little did I know this was going to be the rest of my stream. The most frustrating time I had ever had. Going to be dead inside for a while. 
very frustrated. Oh, Lord. There was two things. I was frustrated looking for a cat named Polly, who the only reason I found was because we looked it up. And the other thing, uh, gangster cats. That part I actually really liked. <laughs> Is the god cat? Let us not scale for our friend here. <laughs> the Bourbon family could use a cat like him. <laughs> Most honorable Don Vito. Please permit me to enter the Biocat's territory. Oh my gosh. They're gangster cats. Oh my gosh. These are great. Towards Hampshire family territories of declared state of martial art, no cat may pass it out. I'm gonna pass it there. No, the cats for family. Blessing to travel as you please. You, you give me an offer I can't refuse. So, what do I think about this game? The Neon Sea is really interesting. It's got a fantastic soundtrack. Uh, I've been looking around to see like where I can get it, and uh, I found it on Steam for 99 cents. I can find it on the Epic Games. Uh, I was super excited about the idea of games and seeing that like there's this whole bio cats that have been bioengineered and created. There's bio dogs that are being made, bio cats that are some job I assume that are down there, and then there's real cats that I don't know why there's real cats versus bio cats when the real cats are apparently so intelligent that they can do uh help solve crimes. Why are bio cats a thing when real cats can solve crimes and steal and hide murder weapons? I don't get that. But it's still really cool. But the puzzles I found ordering frustrating sometimes. The the one that I was running around with whenever I was William, I it, we were we were doing I we were doing that one for about 45 minutes. That was incredibly fun. There was the one where I was turning the little wheels to deal with the circuit breaker. That was kind of annoying as well. There was another one where I opened up a lock, which it wasn't that one wasn't that bad. I thought that one was cool. I do like the fact that every puzzle seemed to be extremely that is actually a really nice work to it. Would I have ever gotten this game myself? No, absolutely not. Am I glad I got a chance to try the game? Absolutely. But considering looking at how much the game actually is, Versus free, I I'll be honest, I looked it up. I'll look it up right now as I'm trying to say this. But I mean they've they've done 
interesting job. But it's definitely a type of game that is only for a certain genre of people. I, I know myself is not that genre. $16.99 on Epic. Uh, 99 cents for the full soundtrack. Absolutely worth it. Oh my gosh, that is 17 bucks for the the whole game. If you are a fan of puzzle games, oh yes, it'll be. If you're not a fan of puzzle games, this is not one for you to start with at all. But if you're a big fan of cats, as uh, all the cat designs are really, really good. But if you're new to the channel, I hope you hit follow. If you'd like to see us play the new every single week, we play them on Fridays. Lucky Dark Light. Link will be down in the doobly-doo. Hopefully we'll see you there.